lesson one. Achoo! Bless you. So let's start with the first lesson of Adobe Substance 3D Modeler's full course. With Adobe Substance 3D Modeler, the modeling has been made to feel as expressive as organic as sketching. You can foster your creative spirit with the adaptable and powerful 3D sculpting tool. Thanks for the user-friendly interface of this tool, you will feel released from the technical limitations of conventional 3D modeling. You can make basic plus advanced 3D models and fully realize 3D scenarios with your exclusive attention on the creative process. Modeler is a versatile tool that may be used for conceptual art, sketching and prototyping, laying out game, uh, gaming levels, designing intricate uh, characters or objects, or even sculpting a whole scene. One app does it all. The fact of modeler tools all are operative without a hitch in VR and on desktop. Use the hardware that best supports your creative workflow at each stage. And for this course, we will work on desktop version. These are weekly lessons. However, if you want to binge watch all of course videos, then join my early bit uh, membership plan. You can click on the join membership. So without further ado, let's get started with Adobe Substance 3D Modeler. So let's get started with Adobe Substance 3D Modeler, or you can say Modeler. So once you will launch the Modeler, you will notice that there is a welcoming screen that says getting started. And under that, you will see videos, tutorials, user guide, setting up VR. We are using desktop mode, so we will not work on the setting up VR. So we will skip this part and we will directly click on the new to open a new project. As soon as you will do that, you will see there is a clay tool as a primitive in front of you on the viewport. This is not basically a model. It is just showing you a prototype. It's just showing you a visual of how the primitive will look once you will create it. So unlike 3D Studio Max or Maya, in a modeler, you will see a prototype of it and when you are satisfied you can press the apply button and it will be created we will go in detail in our next classes about the clay tool and also you will see there is a gizmo around so all this we will cover in the next lessons but here we will now first start with the navigation tool to rotate or orbit around uh, the model inside the uh, modeler you can press alt on your keyboard and with the left mouse button you can orbit around so my alt button is pressed and my left key is pressed and I, i'm like moving around okay apart from this you can uh, pan around and to pan around you can press alt on your keyboard and middle mouse button and you can pan around as well also you can zoom in to zoom in you have to press alt on your keyboard and drag in and out the right mouse button and it will zoom in and out Okay, you can also use a uh, scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out. Okay, but it will be not that smooth. Suppose if you have created your model and you are satisfied with it, you can just press apply here. And while working, maybe sometimes what happens, you are lost and you cannot focus on it and you don't know where it's gone. So simply what you can do, you can press F on your keyboard. And when you press F on your keyboard, it will focus on your selected model. So if you have uh, a lot of uh, like clay tools here, like 100 of them, and you want to focus on one of them, you can uh, click on it or select it and then press F. So it will be zoomed. It will zoom on that or it will focus on that selected tool. In Modeler, you will notice that the user interface is quite minimalistic. Just look around. It's quite, unlike any other 3D uh, tool, it's, it's quite very simple and minimalistic. And here you will see on the left side, there is a tool panel, which is divided into left and the middle part. The left part shows you a more like tools. And the middle part shows you the setting of those tools. And if I right click on the viewport on any of my uh, model like tool, so it will show me the actions that I can perform on that selected 
tool. So this is quite context uh, sensitive. So whatever I will click on, uh, like right click on, it will show me the actions of that. Moreover, on your top right side, you will see there is a color picker. Now, I have created a tool like previously when I was uh, demonstrating the focus key, which you uh, like activate with the help of F on the keyboard. So I pressed apply and it was already created. So I will just move the prototype here so I uh, so it will just show me how the already created tool will look like if I will choose any color here. So suppose if I will choose green, okay, so it will turn that prototype into that green color, okay? And if I uh, like press apply, so it will create that green prototype now, okay? And I can change this color and I can apply, okay? And it will make a, uh, the like the kind of a color uh, of that I can use these color to paint over all this we will learn in our like later classes but I just wanted to show you that there is a color picker on the interface on your top right side on the bottom you will see there is scene navigation on the left side and on the right side these are the shortcuts for the quick actions okay so like uh, if you right click here, you will see the actions and these are the shortcuts to those actions. Like these are the quick actions basically. So uh, right now I'm using uh, the right hand uh, user interface. I can switch to left hand also. So for that I have to go to the preferences, which I can find under the edit preferences. You can also press control key or if you're using uh, Mac, you can press Command K. So once I will click on the preferences, you will notice that in the desktop area, there is a left hand and right hand, uh, like uh, the screen mode, okay? I don't want to change it, so I will press cancel here. Now, if I want to save the file, I can go here, or if I want to open a file, I can open from here. I can revert to the save, import scene, and all these things I can do from the file menu. Now, to save, if I will save it, okay, so I will go to save as, and I can save it as whatever file name I want. And the mode here is the modular scene, uh, sorry, the modular scene. The modular scene is saved with the extension called S mode. And here you will also notice that there is auto save. That means a uh, modeler also saves files automatically, which is quite useful if your computer crashes or something happens wrong. So the files auto saves and the auto saved files are always saved inside this folder. So there is one auto save file here, but once you will keep on working, you will have several of them. So automatically they are saved. So, for example, if your computer crashes and if you relaunch a modeler, your autosave file will be automatically opened. So, that's all for today. In the next lesson, we will learn more about the basic sculpting tools and transformation tools. And uh, we'll see how to work on them. If you find my videos interesting and useful, then please click the like button and click on the bell icon to receive notifications about my new tutorials and courses. If you are watching my videos and have not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe it now and share it with your friends so they can also subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Discord, and Amazon.com. The links are given in the description below. In the end, I would like to request that please watch my videos online and do not download them because this will affect my watch time hours, which is quite demotivating for me. And uh, if you want me to create, continuously create these new courses, so please subscribe to my channel and watch all my videos online. Also like them and share them. So everyone take care, stay connected and see you in the next class.